Okay, let's take a look at how to get poster art in Plex. Pretty common situation is you've added some movies to your library and you're not seeing poster art. It's not recognized by Plex. Instead, you just get kind of a shot from, from the film. So there's two ways you can do this. Um, the first thing is you'll notice if you hit the edit button on one of the films, you'll see the actual title of the file. So if you go to Windows Explorer, you'll see the file name uh, matches what's being listed there um, when you hit the edit as the title. So the, the thing is here is to change that file name. So the easiest thing to do is go to IMDB. In this case, the movie was Harry Potter and Goblet of Fire. Um, search that. And what you'll get is right at the top the title with the year that it was made. And that's the key thing. You want that year in there. So you can just copy that title with the year in parentheses. Now go to Windows File Explorer, Rename, Select right click, select rename, and you're going to rename the file to that title that's in IMDb with the year. Most of the time, by doing this and going back to Plex and just refreshing, you know, the little button there, and you can go refresh, and you'll see it spins. And you might have to actually go to the movie section on the far left. This is kind of the home page, but you go to movies. And on the top right, there's a refresh. You hit refresh. Now it's going to go find that file and uh, recognize that file name and match up against its internal database. And most of the time, this will take care of it. You'll see it take a little bit, but eventually we're going to get the Harry Potter Goblet Fire movie art. Now, if this doesn't work, uh, there's another way to round, round this. Okay, so in this case, I'm, I'm looking at all my movies, and you can see I have this old Superman 2 movie. If I look at the title name, of course, it's all bogus. Superman, you know, L-I, and a bunch of dates and weird stuff. This is recorded. So, now what's interesting, I'm in the movie section, and you can see with my options, there's really not much to do. But if you go back to the home section, and I select that right tab there, the ish, you can see there's an option to match. And that's what you want to find. You can say it could not find an automatic match, but there's search options. So I click that search options on the left, and I'm just going to search for Superman 2. It's going against the internal movie database. I click search, and it's going to give me back a whole bunch of results. Superman 2, Batman vs. Superman, so I can select, see it's Superman 2 in 1980 was the year. I select it, and then it's able to go and find the movie art for that one. So that's the key thing. So what Plex tries to do is find movie art and all the, um, you know, tags and um, information who's starring with an internal database, and it starts with basically trying to match uh, based on the title of the file of the movie. So if you have the year in there and the, and the title correct, it's usually pretty easy, but sometimes it just has trouble. So you go through this manual match, search it, and select it, and uh, you'll get your, your movie art. So two ways to do that. I hope it helps. And you can see, actually, I'm going back here to Superman 2, and I'm actually looking at the file, and um, I still have that old... Big, long, crazy name, but I did the manual match and it worked. All right, hope that helps.